They're here! Um, who's here? The cable man. Our TV's broken. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Alright, cool. Hey everyone, I'm John. I'm Ethan. And today we're here to bring you a review of the 2015 horror movie, Poltergeist. Yeah. So this movie is a remake of the 1980s classic Poltergeist, right. which basically just involves a family moving into a house and they find out it's haunted and a bunch of crazy stuff starts happening. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like your normal like ghost house story. So what were your expectations going into this? Well, John, I'm sad to say that at the time, right now, I haven't seen the original Poltergeist. Mm. So, shame on me. But, let me, like I said before, I knew going into this, seeing the trailer and such, that uh, I was going to see something with some pretty nice visuals, you know, the normal ghost house story, and something that just, you know, scared me. I was expecting, like, a nice horror movie. I don't know. What about you? Well, I'm a big fan of the original Poltergeist. It's probably one of the most influential movies ever. Yeah. Because, you know, every horror movie, especially haunted house movies, borrow from that classic original, and, yeah. like, almost all the horror cliches come from there. And so I had reasonably high hopes. I didn't really see a reason for Poltergeist to be made. Yeah, that's, but, a, that's a good point. Yeah. But I figured, you know, I'm a fan of the original. Maybe they could do something interesting with it. Yeah, and John, how do you think they, how do you think they did? I thought, uh, I have some mixed feelings about this movie. One thing I really did like was the visuals. I thought they did a pretty good job with. Yeah. Even though the CGI isn't always the best, I thought the set pieces and just general sort of cinematography yeah. were pretty good. Yeah. I definitely thought this was a nice-looking movie, but at times, like you said, the CGI did falter every once in a while, and so that kind of threw me off. But, like I said earlier, it's a generally nice-looking movie, and I have to give the movie credit where it looks nice. Yeah. And uh, one other thing I really, really liked about this movie was it doesn't actually rely on jump scares. They're in there, there's a couple, yeah. Yeah. but in general it focuses on other ways to scare you yeah. than just jump scares, yeah. which I, I'm so relieved at. Yeah, you were telling me like it's, it starts to put out the scary atmosphere and not try to do the jump scares. I mean, I could count the number of times that I was really jump scared, like, thing comes at you on my right hand. Yeah. Now, take that as you will, whether you want to be scared like that, this isn't the movie for you. But if you're looking for something with more of a creepy vibe and a better atmosphere, this is definitely something you should check out. Yeah. Just like the original Poltergeist, it's similar to it in the way that it doesn't really, it's not the scariest movie ever, it's yeah. not, it won't have you screaming, yeah. but it focuses more on creating a sort of creepy atmosphere and telling a good story and just sort of keeping you entertained in that way rather than just making you freak out. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, some people will like that and some people won't. Yeah. I mean, I know, you know, with the state of our horror movies these days, like, what's the most common thing? The jump scares. Yeah. You know, there's so many tropes in this movie. Yeah. It doesn't really use those. And I don't know, this is me personally, but I feel like, you know, I'm trying to tell myself that the original, like you said, started all these horror tropes and cliches. Yeah. And I kept telling myself, okay, is this movie trying to put those cliches in because... It was in the original Poltergeist, mm -hmm. or you know, because it started all that. Or is it not as good as the movie as I thought it would be? So it just has the cliches. Well, that's a good question. But either way, I feel like all these cliches have been seen before. Definitely, yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah. Uh, also, the acting in this movie isn't really the best. No. I think Sam Rockwell and Jared Harris do a pretty good job. Well, that's that guy's that's name. A, that's the guy. I was telling myself, I recognize that guy, but I don't know where. Sam Rockwell, thank you. Yeah. And like you said, Jared Harris, you know, I love, I personally love that guy, so I think anything he does is awesome, but those two had pretty good performances. I mean, other than that, there was a lot of, in my opinion, um, cringy dialogue. Yeah, and the I, acting wasn't good. Yeah, I mean, that's to say so that the fault of the writing not yeah. so much as the um, the performance, but I thought the writing was just uh, yeah. Just, this movie has an awkward script script a lot of the times. It just yeah. some of the dialogue kind of feels fake or makes you cringe. Like oh, that's now people talk. Why is that happening? Yeah. And I touched on this before, but I just want to say it again. This movie relies on CGI. I mm -hmm. think way too much. There's a lot of scenes where it's just full of CGI and a the remake of Poltergeist shouldn't have that because Poltergeist the original relied almost entirely on practical effects. Right, right. And, but the CGI wasn't even really very good. A lot of times it did look really fake. Yeah. And for a movie that relies on CGI, definitely not a good thing. Yeah, that's definitely, def takes you out that's of definitely one of the weakest points about the movie, yeah. Yeah. And while it's not so much the fault of the actual film, 
I do have to say that a lot of content from the movie was actually given away in the trailer. So if you've seen the trailer, uh, I'm sorry, but you've kind of seen a lot of the movie already. Yeah. So I mean, there, it's a lot of the trailer. Now this is my big, my biggest problem with Poltergeist 2015. Yeah. And that's it doesn't add anything constructive or anything real yeah. to the original Poltergeist. Because right. when you remake a movie, you should, the only time you should do it is when there's something to add, something to innovate, something in the story you can make better. Or maybe now we have better CGI, so you want to make the CGI better from the old movie. Right, that, I think that's the entire point of why there's a new Mad Max movie. Exactly. <laughs> to build upon it, to have a new story, to, you know, put something new. But like you're saying, Poltergeist just doesn't it's, bring anything new to the It all table. feels just very seen. It feels like a second-rate 2015 version of the original movie. And it's just kind of like, it's entertaining enough. It kept me entertained, but you're just kind of sitting there thinking, like, why are we doing this? This is pointless. Yeah. yeah. So all in all, Ethan, all things considered, what are you going to give Poltergeist out of five stars? Well, like you said, Poltergeist, it does bring anything new to the table. You know, it should have been better than what it was, and it's really disappointing that it's not. You know, you think of this amazing classic Poltergeist that we had that, you know, set the standard for all the horror movies to come, and it didn't do anything with the namesake, so it's really disappointing. But on the good side, you know, the movie looks really nice, you know, it has a really good atmosphere and vibe to it. So that's what kept me entertained and, you know, some okay performances. So I have to give Poltergeist 2015 a 3 out of 5. It did an alright job. Yeah. This movie it kept me entertained, but all in all it felt pretty pointless. It just felt like we've seen this all before and it just it was really like, why are we doing this? But I enjoyed a couple of the performances. It, it liked the atmosphere created. It was entertaining enough, so... All in all, I'm going to give Poltergeist 3 out of 5 stars. Hey, same as me, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so have you seen Poltergeist? What'd you think? Let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Twitter, at Stubmasters. And you can uh, buy merchandise and look as good as this guy at cafepress.com forward slash Stubmasters. Alright, so 2015 Poltergeist Stubmasters. I'm John. I'm Ethan. Have a great day.